Earlier this year, we brought you a special series on, on coal ash ponds and how they're regulated. Indiana has 74 of the ponds scattered across the state. That's more than any other place in the country. For the most part, rules regulating them are rarely enforced. As Jimmy Jenkins reports, environmental and health organizations are calling on the Marion County Health Department and Indianapolis Power and Light to test the groundwater near the company's Harding Street Power Plant in Indianapolis for contaminants they say could be leaking from coal ash ponds. Across the street from a major coal-fired power plant near downtown Indianapolis, a group of environmental and health organizations stood under a billboard that reads, coal ash and drinking water don't mix. The Hoosier Environmental Council says that heavy metals are leaching from unlined lagoons that hold the coal byproduct and that could contaminate area groundwater. There have been 11 instances of groundwater contamination in Indiana alone. And then we face tragedies in places like Tennessee and North Carolina, where massive amounts of coal ash found their way into our water. We want to take steps to prevent that from happening in Indiana. The Indiana Department of Environmental Management in April tested water in a sand and gravel pit just south of IPL's coal ash ponds near Harding Street. The tests showed high levels of boron, a metal that has been linked to seizures in children and digestive problems in adults if consumed in high enough concentrations. In a statement, Indianapolis Power and Light says it is committed to operating and maintaining all of its ash impoundments safely. The company also points out that the groundwater aquifer located near the Harding Street Generation Station ash ponds does not serve as a public drinking water source. IPL also just announced today it's going to stop burning coal altogether at the Harding Street Station by 2016. It will instead switch over to burning natural gas. The environmental groups, though, say that does not change their call for IPL to better regulate its coal ash ponds.